Hi guys, this is Fog here. I just want to take the time to talk to you guys about the Diablo 3 auction house system. If you're even planning to get Diablo 3, you must have known that Diablo 3 beta was released just a few days ago. However, currently only the friends and family beta is allowed to be broadcast. That's mostly due to copyright issues and possibly some gameplay issues. Just on a quick note, if you're interested in watching some footage from the much anticipated beta, there will be links at the end of the video to well-known gamers. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the auction house system itself. There was unfortunately only an altered system in place during the Friends and Family beta, that's probably due to the fact that Blizzard is still testing it. However, that didn't stop them from releasing lots of information on it. Okay, so when Blizzard originally released information on the auction house system, they stated that there would be two different auction house systems. The first one would be the original auction house system that operated during Diablo 2 and currently operates in World of Warcraft. The second AH would be the real world auction house. This AH, I believe, would be the one that would be more focused by the players. It involves players selling and buying items with real world money through the use of microtransactions. The system would work exactly like the current system, but players would be using real money as in-game currency. If you take a quick look at this word equation, I've tried to explain this as easily as possible. Just like WoW, there is an auction house placement price for each item. There is a buyout price and a bid price, and also the AH, or Blizzard in this case, will take a cut from your profit. This seems fair, and we've seen this w many times before in WoW, but the major difference is Blizzard is actually going to be making money through the system, whereas in WoW the auction house system was just there to even out income around the realm. Now let's look at exactly how much Blizzard is going to benefit from this. Now I don't mind the system at all, I only hope I can gain from it. However, I do believe this may be technically gambling, which worries me, because one, I'm under the age of 18, making it illegal for me to gamble in the UK. And secondly, even though you're spending relatively low amounts of cash, it can quite easily build up. The reason Blizzard have done this is not just to make a fast buck. Um, it mainly takes away all the shady dealers on the internet from Diablo 2 and we still see it in World of Warcraft as well with gold. That sounds great, however, it isn't really, because shortly after Blizzard announced the Real Money Auction House, uh, they also announced that the game would have to be online only. Now this really shocked a lot of people, because Diablo has always appeared as one of those games where you didn't have to be connected to the internet like WoW. And that was great for a number of reasons. For example, you could put the game onto a laptop and take it where you wanted and travelled with it and you wouldn't have a problem. Or perhaps maybe you have internet as bad as mine and you can't always get a great signal or you're sharing it with someone else. I mean, those types of problems were solved by the fact that it was an offline as well as online. And as if to make matters worse, taking the game online will not destroy the shady dealers. In fact, it just makes it more acceptable. Gold farmers will still play the game and still grind for gear but now they have an in-game auction house system at their disposal. The only difference I can really see now is that you're handing out your credit card or debit card to s somewhere you really know. Earlier thoughts and rumours concluded that the profit that you made on the AH would be transferred into Blizzard store points for you to spend on their products. However, a recent blue post has confirmed that PayPal will be used in these microtransactions. Now this is an interesting action for Blizzard to take. PayPal have a bit of a bad reputation when it comes to in-game transactions, mainly due to the fact that they have less control over virtual properties, and therefore take less responsibility for it. However, saying that, PayPal are a well-trusted company, and that I feel personally would feel safe using. On the upside, it now looks like everyone will be able to make a decision after they've made the profit, either to exchange your cash for Blizzard points, or to take your cash directly to your bank. And the last point I want to make before I go that is relevant is that you'll be able to use shared stash. If any of you are familiar with mules in the game of WoW, you will know that trading items to your alts can be a bit of a hassle. Well, with Diablo 3, that's nothing to worry about because barely any of your loot is soul bound and your bank, or stash as it's known, is shared amongst all your characters. I am Fog, and you've been my audience, and for that, I thank you. This is the first of a few Diablo 3 beta review videos, so please subscribe if you want to see more over the next few weeks. And please remember to like or favourite the video, it just helps, thank you. And just quickly, please, on a quick note, 
uh, Darrigan Gaming has some similar Di Diablo 3 videos as well as some new Skyrim commentary, so go check him out. He's great. See ya.